Welcome to State of Tech. Here's an iPhone 6 tip for you. I'm going to show you how to use AirDrop. I'm going to swipe up from the bottom and I'm going to bring up my control center. Notice down in the bottom left hand corner above the flashlight I have AirDrop. If I tap on that, right now it is set to contacts only, but I can turn it to everyone or I can turn it to off. And what this is allowing it to do is to make myself discoverable to people in my contacts or everybody to be able to send me things via a wireless communication. Now this works best when you're connected to the same Wi-Fi network, but it doesn't necessarily have to be that way. If you're out and about, say at a restaurant and you have no Wi-Fi connection, you can still use AirDrop. The only thing that you need to make sure is that Wi-Fi and Bluetooth are always on. This is going to create its own kind of Wi-Fi network to be able to communicate back and forth between phones. Now what's going on here with AirDrop is that someone could send me say a photo, or a note or a Safari web page or anything that can actually honestly be shared with an iOS can be shared via AirDrop. So that could be links to apps, that could be links in Safari, that could be links to books, music, anything that can be shared. So I have another device over here and I'm actually going to send myself a photo via AirDrop. And we're gonna see this pop up on my phone. So here I have an AirDrop request, someone's trying to send me a photo. I'll go ahead and hit accept and it's going to download the photo and open up immediately into the photos app. So whatever you receive via airdrop, you're automatically going to be taken into the application that that is being shared from. Now the way that you do airdrop is we tap on the share button wherever we are in our iOS. I'm going to just be here in this photo. I'll tap the share button and it's going to pull up the share sheet. Now you see AirDrop on the top of the screen. I have some contacts here. So I see some photos of people. I see some names of devices if I don't have them on my contacts. And I see their name if I don't have a photo for them. Now the way that I share with them is I just tap on their name. So I'm going to tap on my friend here. And now you see it says waiting. And now it's sending. The way this works is if it's your device, it's not going to ask them for any confirmation. But if it's not your device, you notice that earlier it asked me for a confirmation to send that photo. So once they approve the confirmation, it'll send them whatever we were sending them in AirDrop, and then they're going to be able to view that right there on their device. So it's pretty convenient, pretty easy to do. Now let's go ahead and jump into Safari, and I'll show you how the Safari works. So we'll just open up a web page. Let's just say we'll just open up Amazon here. And once it loads in, I like this web page. I like this option here. I'm going to tap the Share button. And notice the airdrop is right there at the top. So now if I were to send this to my friend here, we'll tap and it's waiting for his response. And it's been sent. And it's going to open up the actual Amazon web link on his device. Now the same thing can happen to us. Say if someone else were on their Safari and we're just going to have them navigate to a web page, they'll share it to us. And notice on my device, it now says they would like to share the website. We'll tap accept and it's going to open up Safari and take us to the web page that they were sharing. So that is how AirDrop works on the iPhone. And for more iPhone tips, be sure and visit stateoftech.net.